वेलकम बैक गाइज टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट फॉर द ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज दैट आई एम डूइंग ऑन दैट डिजिटल क्लॉक राइट बिहाइंड मी एज यू कैन सी सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट वेर आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिल्ड द क्लॉक कोडर सॉरी द वूल कोडर विच इज गोइंग टू चेंज द फेसेज ऑफ द क्लॉक इफ यू हैवेंट सीन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो आई डू रिकमेंड चेकिंग इट आउट बिकॉज वी बिल्ड दिस लास्ट टाइम so if you haven't checked that out i'll put a link in the description so you can do that so let's go to the next part so for those uh, those who haven't seen my introductory video we'll be building this thing over here this is actually the wool coder which is going to change the face over there uh, but i like to call it the 10 bit memory loop so once you've got the face built that we did in the last part come down under this green block right here and count down 1 2 3 and from this part is where you're going to be going back 10 blocks so 1 sorry this is the zeroth block so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 <laughs> break this block and put a normal piston like that so that's going to be your starting block now just break these and from this block make seven more So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you should be having something that looks like this. So once you've got that built, take out your repeaters and put them going into these pistons like this, all on one tick. Next, count down two blocks after the repeaters. That is one, two, and place a block over here. Now this is the part where the second row of pistons are going to be going and now just count up one place one here break these two blocks and put pistons facing like that eight of them eight of them like that so you should be having one two three blocks of space between these two rows Now just take out any wool block I'll be using green actually I'll use red and just put a row of them below this piston Now just take out your repeaters and put them going into these blocks like that there should be 8 since there are 8 pistons and 8 wool blocks Now we'll be placing the third row so count up 6 blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 break the fifth block and put a normal piston down like that and break the other temporary blocks and just make eight of them like that one more and that should be the third row now again count six blocks like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 break the fifth block put a piston and break the others and make eight of them like that so that should be all four rows complete now all we have to do is connect them up and wire them up come all the way to the back and put redstone dust like this with another repeater now this is very important this has to be on three ticks it has to be on three ticks or else it won't work and connect that up now similarly connect these up like this with another repeater over here so that should be the wiring up now it's time to fill in the wool so follow along 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Eleven, twelve. Now I said before that it would be a ten-bit memory cell, but here we see it's twelve. So we'll be have to we'll have to delete two of them so that the whole thing can synchronize and work in a circle-like fashion. So we'll be breaking this and this. It has to be the top left and the bottom right from the right side of the clock. So that's that. Now all you have to do is just fill in the whole thing. I'll just speed build through the whole thing.
like that. Now come all the way over to the back that is this part here and break this row of blocks because that is going to be all glass and just fill it in with glass like this this I'll explain what the function of this is a bit later but this should be all glass in the pattern like all of these are so that's that so that basically is the framework done now actually I made a small mistake here the repeater should not be here it should be here on one tick that should go into a block like that and just make a pattern like this all the way to the top like that and wire it up with redstone these two rows that is this row and this row should be working at the same time that's why there's a diagonal connection like this so similarly this side also will have to connect this piston network up to there so put a repeater down like this next to this red block connect it up it should be running into a wool block of whatever color suits you and bring it up like a zigzag pattern like we had done before and wrap it around this side with redstone dust all the way like that so that's basically the whole connecting up thing done so now come inside over here and place in blocks like this all the way there a restroom torch on this and repeaters on all of the rest like that now place one block there and a repeater like that it should come on due to this torch and fill in these rows here with redstone dust and this last row has to be a repeater so all of them should turn on so basically that's the whole thing done except the terminal which is going to be going over here which is going to connect up there but now let's just check whether the whole thing is working or not so just take out two blocks put them like this with a torch like that this is uh, basically a pulse limiter circuit very basic stuff I'll break this block there like that and a button here now it should be working let's see there we go as you can see it's cycling through if I break one of these blocks and put in let's say this block you'll see that it's going around like that so that's the whole thing built so now we'll be making the terminal this is actually the tricky part because uh, placing the repeaters is sometimes really difficult so come over here and place a row of blocks like this and uh, now each alternate one should be a repeater as you can see it will receive power from this repeater so break this block and you'll have to break these two blocks in order to place your repeater let me take out my repeater like this and like that they should come on similarly this has to be a repeater and this has to be a repeater so alternately they should be on like this so uh, once you have done that place blocks like this and redstone dust on top of them like that so they should come on and a pattern like this and repeaters like this and like that so they should come on as well and believe it or not that's the whole terminal thing done so now we'll be color coding the terminals which are going to be fitting up there like we had done in the previous part so if you want to do it exactly like I am doing it follow along put this as black this as green 
this as orange this as pink this as yellow this as red and this as blue so you should be having something like this and each of these will be connected all the way up there blue will go there black will go there and so on and so forth so that is the whole terminal and loop system built so thanks guys for watching uh, i know it's a bit confusing at the moment but don't worry in the next tutorial all your doubts will be cleared as to why we are building this at all at the back what function it's going to do and how we're going to change the clock face it will all become uh, clear in the next tutorial so anyway if you like the video please leave it a like comment share and subscribe for more videos and the next tutorial bye guys